Good morning, everyone. This is our daily devotion on prepare. As Jesus and his disciples were on their way, he came to a village where a woman named Martha opened her home to him. She had a sister called Mary who sat at the Lord's feet, listening to what he said. But Martha was distracted with all the preparations that had to be made, and she came to him and she asked, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me the work to do all on my own? Tell her to help me. Martha, Martha, the Lord answered, you're worried and upset about many things, but only one thing is needed. Mary has chosen what is better and it will not be taken from her. That reading is from Luke chapter 10, and these are good friends of Jesus. Mary sat at his feet, eager to learn. Martha loved him just as much and wanted to offer hospitality. Jesus loved them both. And hospitality has its place. But here, in this instance, he commends Mary for choosing what is better, her choice to listen and to learn. Now, I don't know if you've been a Christian a long time or a short time, but I'm sure you'll agree that we never stop learning. To follow Jesus Christ is to begin an exciting journey in which we're learning new things daily from our God because he's present and active in the ever-changing world that we live in. And I think Mary got that. Jesus prepared his first disciples for the journey ahead by using, it seems, every encounter as a teaching opportunity. He had a lot to teach them in a short time. So he didn't mince his words and he didn't tame his actions. Of course, his disciples were prepared to learn. He taught them to over overcome prejudice when he sent them out into new situations and with new people, even people they would normally avoid. He taught them to find quiet places and to learn the power of silence. He taught them courage when he spoke out against hypocrisy and injustice when he saw it. And he delighted in children and taught his disciples humility when he said, the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. Life with Jesus was far from mundane. No matter how long we've been following Christ, let's always be prepared to sit at his feet as Mary and the early disciples did and to learn from our God who will use every encounter to teach us something new, even today in his ever-changing world. So let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for giving us the ability to learn. Prepare us for the road ahead by teaching us something new today. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.